Hello, Dear Run Church. Let's talk about church finances. First off, I would like to thank you for your generosity. Your gifts have a huge impact on the ministries we run here, as well as help to fill the needs of our congregation, community, and abroad. Your gifts also aid in supporting the many outreach opportunities that come our way. We are working towards phasing out the online giving through your bank. The option isn't working well for us because of lack of information that we receive. If you currently give this way, please choose another platform to give. We offer a few ways to give. Our church app is one. On the bottom, just click the Give icon, and if you haven't already done so, set up your user information, and then you're ready to give through that link. You can give without setting up a user, but if, if you do, you won't be able to see your giving history, which is very useful. Keep in mind that you do need a debit visa if you want your gift to come directly out of your bank account, or a credit card works just as well. You may also give by e-transfer. However, I ask that if you are donating for the first time this way, please speak to myself or Mary Berg to set it up on our end. You may continue to give in person here at the church by placing your gift in an envelope into the box mounted on the wall. Please speak to us about a donation number if you don't already have one, and if you choose to give this way. This will help us to record the donation to the right person so proper receipts can be issued. For those who give by envelope, I would ask that you please do not fold your money or personal checks. They do fit in the envelope without being folded. Thank you. And speaking of receipts, we currently receive gifts from a few anonymous donors plus some loose cash. And I would just like to ask that you please consider putting your name to your donations. Did you know that you are allowed to claim donations on your tax return? Many people get 20 to 45% of their donations back on their taxes, depending on their income. So for every $100 you give, you could get back 20 to $45. This is significant, and if you aren't comfortable with gaining from your gift, then just give the refund back to the church or charity. Shifting gears to expenses. Ministries, when handing in receipts for reimbursement, please ask for a complete receipt from the place of purchase. Just a debit or credit receipt is not sufficient for our records. Our accountant has advised that we need to make sure we have the full receipt that shows what was purchased and the taxes paid. We are able to get back most of the HST on all expenses, but if, you do not have, if we do not have the receipt that proves the tax amount, I am not able to claim it back at all. So then we lose out on that claim. Having the proper receipts will also ensure that we do not lose our charity status, which is definitely something we do not want. And lastly, it is that time of year again where we discuss budgets for next year. Budget forms are available at the front desk and are due back October 8th. They are also available online. If you lead a ministry, please fill out a budget request form. And if you do not fill one out, the finance team will decide for you your budget amount based on previous years. Thank you again for your generosity and for your time. Feel free to speak to me if you have any questions at all. Have a wonderful day.